What's up YouTube? Just a quick little video on something to check if your 22RE's fuel pump is not getting power. So once I got this 22RE and this abused 85 4Runner cranking, I then wondered why I wasn't getting fuel. So I checked the power at the fuel pump, which is super easy. You don't need to show how to do that. You unplug that and then check those two wires while cranking and if they aren't getting battery voltage you'll have a problem. You can also just to make sure your fuel pump is working bring a battery back there and jumper the battery straight to the fuel pump plug and then it will pump fuel. So you can check under the vehicle or in here check these wires and they go through the floor right back no no they go through the floor right here you can check right here for voltage at these wires while cranking and then you know, if there's an issue with the wiring between there and the fuel pump, that will tell you. Then that plugs into the ECU, I believe. No, I don't know. It plugs into something, but the next thing upstream that I checked was the circuit opening relay. If you look up no power to the fuel pump, this is what everyone talks about. So you need to take your glove box out, and then it's right back here above the ECU. The ECU goes like so, or it was in here, in this one. You see it's like so, circuit opening relay is behind that, above it, plugged into here. So, this middle part of the plug is battery voltage. Right here is the FP port, which sends power to the fuel pump. What the circuit opening relay does is, it's kind of an overcomplicated thing that when you're starting, it gets power from the ignition switch through the EFI main relay, I believe. And then once it detects that air is flowing through the AFM, it switches to another circuit or something. And then you get, I, I think it's power just from the battery at that point, but it switches between two little modes. And I tested this one. I ohmed this one out and I think it was good. But anyways, quick thing you can do is plug a jumper wire between the middle one and this, which is the FP one. There's a diagram on the 4Crawler website. Plug a jumper wire in there, then when you turn the key you should hear the fuel pump. And she runs. So. There you go. Just bypass the circuit opening relay. Now I don't know where you can buy these because I'm just going to grab one off of my parts 87. But yeah. Before that, I had nothing. And another little test you can do. is all right that's plugged in real good unplug the small wire on the starter solenoid and crank it and you should be able to hear the relay click nada so I do believe that's a bad relay, and they can ohm out good, but still not function. So that's some info on that. Just spent a couple hours tracking that problem down, and yeah. I'd also do a video of rebuilding the knuckle. This thing broke because the full hydro steer was pushing against tracks, and it broke uh, some knuckle studs, broke the knuckle, but I'm gonna get her going again. She's a party machine.